In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the two-factor authentication in TrueNAS 12.0 U7. So to enable the two-factor authentication, click on system. Go to the last option, which is two-factor authentication. You will see a lot of options here. Uh, for your information, I'm going to use the Google Authenticator for generating the one-time password, which will then authorize myself to log into the system after uh, entering the username and the password to have the added security. So the first thing is the number of digits that you will have in the OTP, which is six I have selected. And you have other options as well, seven, eight. This is the value which will increase the validity of the OTP. And if you are in a network where there is a lot of latency going on, then you can increase this. For example, if you increase it to one, will then accept the OTP generated before and after the current one. You can see here in the information it has, it is showing that one means that the one password before and after the current one is valid. And then the next setting is the interval. Well, Google Authenticator will honor the 30 second interval. If you increase, then it might not work properly with the Google Authenticator. So it is recommended to keep it to 30. And also do not enable the two-factor authentication for SSH access in the beginning. If you have everything working properly after the initial setup, you can enable this afterwards. And the secret will be generated automatically once you enable the two-factor authentication along with the provisioning URL. For example, I'll show you. Just click on enable two-factor authentication. It is generating the secret automatically and you can renew the secret as well. You can see here the new secret. Well, uh, just click on show QR and I have my iPad and I can scan this QR code. I already have the Google Authenticator installed. So let's try to scan this from my iPad, Google Authenticator to add this account. So this is my authenticator and it is showing me the option to scan a QR code. So I'm going to scan the QR code. So now you can see that the Google Authenticator is generating uh, OTP. And this OTP is valid only for 30 seconds. So now let's try to move on to our uh, TrueNAS uh, UI access.
Okay. So now that I have scanned the QR code, I have the OTP with me. I'll try to log out. And this time you can see that it is asking for two-factor authentication code. So I'll enter the same code that I see on my iTab, Google Authenticator. So now that the authentication code is there, I'll try to log in. And you can see there, I am able to log in using my OTP. That's all in this video. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section. And please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.